Good morning, uh, good, good, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and today I will show you how to create a texture for a low poly model uh, that you can apply in the game design in your own game developing and or somebody else. Uh, I'm using Moroz video capture uh, to capture this video tutorial. Uh, Moroz video capture was developed by Alexander Moroz, also by me, uh, and you can find it or get more information about Moroz Video Capture or Moroz Video Converter. I'm gonna use Moroz Video Converter to convert this video into HD. After I'm gonna be done, uh, you can find the information uh, on www.mrzmedia.com. Well, let's go ahead and get going here. As you can see, I open my Photoshop CS3, CS4, but uh, this tutorial, I'm going to use the methods that you can apply almost in any Photoshop, starting with uh, Photoshop 7 and go with CS, CS2 and CS3 and CS4 as well, and the next editions as well. What's going to come out from Adobe? So, as you can see, I found a nice texture. Uh, I decide to uh design a texture for a low poly barack um soldier barack model to implement this into my uh 3d game so uh i found this little image on over on the google just you know google it get yourself some image and i think it's nice but photographer that was taken care about the angle so the camera was a little bit rotated and as you can see even if we're gonna rotate the image uh, we are not going to have it per have it perfect uh, because the windows it's a little bit since it was uh, the building and photographer look like didn't use the right angle that's what happened here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create file new and I'm gonna say 512 by 256 my image is going to be a uh, not a square so I'm gonna implement this in 3d max Autodesk then uh, I might will show it to you in this tutorial or it's going to be a next tutorial so I'm gonna click OK so that's why I'm not doing 512 by 512 I'm just it's not my final image um, I'm gonna unwrap the image after the after desk 3d max after everything is going to be uh, uv mapped and then i'm gonna unwrap up to 512 by 512 on or even higher resolution okay um we create this little uh, new file and as you can see i have the ruler here and to be able to add this ruler it's a good tool when you're trying to make something perfect you need to go view and check the ruler when you're gonna have it unchecked you need to check it okay let's go ahead and uh, create here uh, a background so I decide I'm gonna create a background from this image so basically what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get this copy it merge and control V or paste get this image here I'm gonna scale it a little bit so I'm gonna say by 40 okay and I need to move my moving it's look like it's on the right over here so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move it and okay let me real quick our scaled image so um, okay I'm just gonna place it here uh, maybe let me scale it a little bit more we don't care about perfection here so let's scale it like this not by the percentage by the percentage it's gonna give you perfect scale 
but I don't care here. Okay, I'm gonna go filter, blur, I'm gonna add cushion, blur, and I'm going to have a radius by uh, 1. Point by 3.4. By okay, then I'm gonna go filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to say monochromic, cushion, and maybe add it by two here click ok so I add it as you can see we're getting a little bit shape here not bad so far and now I'm gonna place the windows individually one by one so I can rotate them and make less seamable windows on my texture so it's going to be mm copy merge gonna copy it here mm, well, let's say 50 by 50 within height so uh, even less let's make it what I'm doing I'm clicking here and then typing the percentage uh, let's do 40 by 40 little window and since bar going to be one level, so it's perfect for our barack. Um, place the window here, and I'm gonna grab another window. Mm, okay. I will try to make this tutorial free so you can learn, guys. And let's do by 30, mm, maybe 20, 20 percent. Okay, mm, undo. I don't want that. And keep it in the center. Let's go ahead and move that window close to this one. So this is going to be. Another little room like this, and two more windows, and we're fine. Mm. Let's take uh. so I'm using the selection tool. This one clicking the mouse and dropping and you know basically select windows holding your mouse selecting and release the mouse you will have perfect selection and then you can copy it, copy merge trying to place it on the same level here Come on, and one more and I think I'm going to be done here uh, let's use this one like with some reflections give us some nice glass look for our game mm, copy merge I'm not gonna use the hotkeys so it's going to be easy for you to follow especially if you're a beginner 20 by 20 percent and let me place this one. Ooh. Actually not twenty, let's make it uh twenty two. Oop twenty two. Actually make it perfect as this one so I don't have to guess ok don't apply don't need to zoom in a little bit and do it one more time I believe 25 